Well, hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Ring. If you go back and look at the end of the last episode, you'll see that I'm in a slightly different location than I was at the end of the last episode. At the end of the last episode, I was right at the mouth of this cave here, Markwater Cave. But before I started recording, I got invaded by that, uh, what is it? Uh, the finger dude, I forget his name. I got invaded by that guy again, and so I basically just let him kill me uh, because I knew that I would just end up right back here at this site of grace, just inside of the cave. At least I think we're just inside of the cave. So I'm going to try to get back outside and um, see if I can't get my runes back and then get the heck out of here. There's my runes right there. But as soon as I step out of here, there's a chance that he may get me again, but we're going to... Retrieve my runes. Let me say, how many runes do I have? I have, a, I don't have enough to to level up, but I also don't really want to lose them either, because it seems like I have a hard time getting runes in this game, just getting a good number of runes. But I am considering just maybe fighting this guy. Um, I tell you what, let's let's go. Where is it? Let's go here to the Warmaster Shack. Okay. We're going to go here and we're going to spend some of these runes on some of these ashes of war uh, just because. And then maybe we'll go back and try to fight that guy. Maybe we'll do that. There you are. Decided to bear the torch of my battle hearts. Yeah, let's teach me some skills, dude. I got a new sword and everything. Okay, so I could buy... Uh, let's see here. I think I want something heavy, don't I? And all these are heavy, actually. Uh, I could get the kick. I could get endure. Which, um... Assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks. Briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. Hmm, sounds complicated. War cry. Give a war cry rally. A war cry to rally the spirits and increase attack power. While active, strong attacks change to charging attacks. Interesting. We'll get this one here. This one's expensive. This is very expensive. Uh, spinning slash skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for follow-up attacks. So, um, I mean, what... I'm trying to think of... How do I see what this is going to do for me exactly... And I'm looking over here. This is just my character status. And here in the middle, it doesn't really tell me what the ash does. Like, you know, does it improve my weapon scaling? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is not heavy. This one here isn't heavy. It's pretty interesting, though. Impaling thrust. This one here, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Usable on armaments capable of thrusting. How do I know if my armament is capable of thrusting? How do I know that? I mean, that might seem like a stupid question, Not but... floating your boat, eh? Uh-huh. Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. Good storm brewing out there, man. Or not even brewing, it's full swing. Uh, yeah, I mean, this weapon I've got now, how do I know if it can thrust? I have no idea. Oh, I think I just removed it. So, I mean... I don't know. It says standard slash pierce up there. Is the the great sword standard slash pierce? Oh. Okay. If I look at my other weapons, they're all standard slash. This is a slash. This is a pierce. So is pierce is thrusting, right? I would imagine. I don't know. There you are. So, um, I mean, I like the idea of a thrust. Quick step. This one, 
Skill prized by the crafty and fleet of foot, perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling around lock on targets. And then parry. This Ashivor grants no affinity to an Arminent, but imparts the following skill. Parry, use this skill in time with a foe's melee attack to deflect it and break that foe's stance. This provides an opening to perform a critical hit. Usable on daggers, curled swords, thrusting swords, fists, claws, and small and medium shields. Interesting. So we could put parry on a on a weapon. Uh, no skill. This armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. Usable on shields and torches. I don't know, man. Um... I'm going to do... Which one do I want? kind of wanted a, another heavy one, but maybe I don't want another heavy one. I, I like the sound of this one. A thrust. Let's, let's just get it. There. There. Well, until we meet again. Okay, so... Uh, if I come here now... And we go into Ashes of War, and we go here and instead put Thrust on it. Standard or Keen? What? Great. Uh, standard or Keen? So the, the Keen makes it a deck scaling weapon, so I don't think I'm interested in that. Standard, we just leave it as is. Oh, I realized I did math wrong last time. So in the last episode, I was trying to decide what Ash of War to put, and I added these two up, and I came up with 160 instead of 150. Doesn't really matter all that much. Um, so... There's the thrust. That's pretty good, but as you can see, that uses FP because it's a, it's a skill. Skills use FP. But I do like this. You know? That could be useful. Is it more useful than my crazy wild slash? I don't know. I mean, you know, if I'm going to go back and try to fight that invader, I uh, I think I need something quick. This is this takes a while to charge, and I wonder if this like crazy, you know, wild swinging would be useful against this guy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, standard or heavy? I, I, I yeah. I'm so. Yes, yeah, standard actually gives me a little bit more attack power right now because even though heavy scales better, um, my, my, my strength isn't that great to get any benefit from the scaling. So the truth is, is that standard gives me 156 where heavy just gives me 150. So I really should go with standard right now, right? Okay, well, that leaves me with um, a th highly 330 runes <laughs> it still seems like a lot to me um so let us take a quick trip over to the church i just want to spend these souls man i don't want to lose our runes i don't want to lose these things because I'm, I'm going to lose to this guy and i don't want to be concerned with my um oh wait a minute how much does it cost to strengthen my... Okay. Oh, man, I should have done this. This is what I should have done. Look at this. This would give my weapon much, much more attack power. Hold on a minute. Let's do this. Is that enough? Oh, that guy's so excited he's jumping up and down. Uh, how many did I need... Okay, exactly 530. Let's get this weapon up to plus one. This thing, our attack power, goes from 156 to 165. It's pretty good, right? There we go. Okay, I like this. Okay. Uh, we do not have enough smithing stones or enough runes to get to the next level. Okay, so we've got a plus one weapon now. Okay. Well, I have absolutely zero runes, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, so what do you say? We go back here to Murkwater Cave, and um, we try to take on this invader. What the heck? Why not? And maybe um, that dude uh, will come out and help us. The other dude. Because he, he actually did come out here. 
just a moment ago when I started up the game, but the other guy killed me before he could even get here. Now, now that I've done this, the guy probably won't show up. Yep, there he is. Bloody Finger Neregis. Came from that way last time. Oh, he's going to come from this way this time. Great. Great. So where's the other guy? Could really use some help. You ready for this? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Damn it. He's, uh, he just stayed away from me once I started swinging. <laughs> he just stayed, there goes the other guy right there. He just stayed away from me once he started swinging. So I don't think that there's any negative effect to just dying a lot, right? Um, you know, in Dark Souls 3, you would, you would lose your ember if you died. Uh, I think in Dark Souls 2, you would like become more hollow or something like that. Uh, so there were these extra penalties to dying, and especially dying many times. So, but I don't think that there's anything like that in this game. I don't think so. So yeah, I don't really know if this is going to even be a viable strategy at all. I just wanted to play around with wild strikes um, because I have it. Oh, oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm, I've run out. Okay, you know... Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Nice! Ho 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 ho. Oh, okay, he's dead, dude. Okay, he's dead. Yes! Furl, we got a furl calling finger remedy from him. With his objective accomplished, bloody finger hunter Yura returned to his world. And we got Reduvia. Ooh, oh, that's the weapon he was using, right? Okay. You know, I think that that wild thing worked pretty well. I think that worked great. That actually ended up being a pretty good strategy, I think. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I, I suck at these games. I'm excited that I was able to do that. Look at that. There's blood in the water. This is a cool game, man. I it's It has been a long time since I've been this excited to play a game. When I'm not playing this game, I think about it. And, I, and when I'm not playing it, I kind of wish I was playing it. I'm really enjoying it. This is a really cool game. Um, let's see. The thing that we just picked up, I think, was a weapon, right? Reduvia. Yes, it's a weapon, all right. Uh, passive effects causes a blood loss buildup. It's a slash weapon. Uh, scales, well, with nothing great. Jagged dagger with a distinctive curved blade used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. This dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficacy. A proud testament to the success of its vicious design, this weapon is perpetually coated in blood. Unique skill, Reduvia Blood Blade, slash with the wicked dagger, transforming its never-drying blood stains into airborne blood blades that cause hemorrhaging, can be fired in rapid succession. Really? I don't know if I can wield this thing. Well, it looks like I can. Oh, no, I can't. Unable to use this item effectively with present attributes. Uh, I don't have enough arcane. Golly, I need 13 arcane and I have 7. But... Okay, I didn't mean to do that. So if I drunk a, uh, get my FP back up and, um, switch to two hand, 
You could look at the skill, Reduvia Bloodblade. Let's see what it does. There you go. See that? Look at that. So it throws these little blades out here. So I would imagine that if I, if I was fighting an enemy, I probably wouldn't be doing much damage to him at all with this thing because I don't have the, the skills to wield it effectively, really. But it's neat. Just wanted to try it out. Got a couple guys walking over there. But yeah, I would imagine th there's zero reason for me to do this, but... Well, I guess I take that back. There's not zero reason. The reason is to get it off my screen and off my compass. That's the reason to do it. Let's see what this thing does. Look at that. Oh! Hey. Look at this damn thing. Huh. I hit it that one time. Not real sure. Oh, now I'm out of FP, so... <laughs> Look at this crap. Look at this. This damn thing. Come here. Alright, I, I need a... I need a longer weapon. So cool. <laughs> How long am I gonna mess around with this? Alright, I need to get back to a... Um, uh... Let's see, let's... Ouch, go away. Damn it, go away. Can't, um... Can't choose my, uh... Menu here. My map. Oh, there we go. Let's just, let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's just get out of here. And then, uh... Oh, I don't know, we'll run around up here a little bit. I don't know. So, so many places to explore. Okay, up here at Storm Hill. It's a good name for it. Seems very stormy up here, that's for sure. Uh, I mean, we get something like a big rock there, maybe. That's where we just were, right? No, Mark Water Cave is where we were. Um, I don't know. You want to see where this goes? Up this way, maybe? Let's see. Although, I think that there's a giant around here. But we can handle a giant. Pfft. It's just a giant. He's afraid of giants. Bunch of wolves that come down from the sky. Just uh, take a couple swings at those guys. Not really too much of a problem. Although I think I hear one growling still. Yep, I sure do. Hey, beat it. Oh, I love killing things with one swing. Uh, am I facing the right way? Oh my gosh. Okay, we hear that there's still more of them? They come out of the freaking trees, which is bizarre. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Okay, that's freaking annoying. Oh, and then I whiff. Ouch. Alright, that was... Oh, even more. Oh, hold on. I should get... No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I should get my flasks back, and I did. Because that was a group. Keep your eyes open. I mean, you know. Big old bridge or something, or aqueduct or something over top of us here. Oh, darn it. I, got, I didn't mean to... Oh, more. Yay. More. Next. Oh, he broke my guard. Okay, give me something good. Thin beast bones. Oh well. What about you? Thin beast bones. Make sure I'm still going the right way. <laughs> so yeah, this thing we see overhead is this. What is that thing? What was that? What is this thing? 
don't know what you are, but you must die because you're freaking me out. Ruin. That's all we got from that? A ruin fragment? Oh, look at these things rolling down the hill. Visibility is very poor here. Can't imagine what it would be like at nighttime. What's over here? There's some, like, um... Red stuff. What is that? I will regret running over here. Because that looks... Looks like lava or something. Oh my gosh, they're leaving fire behind them. What are these things? Look at this. I hope it's dead. I'm going to get away from it in case it blows up. Oh. Some kind of slug. Some kind of lava slug or something. It's neat that it leaves fire, though. Smoldering butterfly. That's what I need, man. Uh, smoldering butterfly. So, smoldering blutter, butterfly. Seriously, dude. S smoldering butterfly. Oh, do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, I acquire materials just by running through them. Look at this. Oh, it's like catching butterflies in Skyrim, except way easier. You just have to run near them. So smoldering butterfly is something that I need to make fire pots. I have nine of them now, and I also need them to make roped fire pots. So an important ingredient here early in the game. What about you? No? Okay. Can I go in any of these things? What do you got? Item ahead. Which direction, dude? Item ahead. Which way? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta point me in a direction, dude. I hear a little, the twinkling of something. Oh, guy on a horse up there. Okay, we're gonna climb up here in just a moment. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay. Anything cool up here? Oh, here's something that I haven't used yet. Remember when I bought this a while back? This thing? That guy's kind of scary looking. He looks like he would be trouble. Right? Oh. Whew, for a minute there I thought he saw me. Got another ruined kind of thing over there. What else we got? Okay, there's the dung beetle thing making noise. Ooh, those guys give you, um... What do they give you? Let's see. Oh, no! Press the wrong button to get away from the telescope. It fell down. Okay, we're gonna double. Nope. No. Crap. Uh, I'll be alright. I missed him. Boy, you sure can't fall far, far distance in this game. Somber smithing stone. What does that do? Somber smithing stone. Somber smithing stone. Re reinforce special armaments to plus one. Shard of smithing stone drained of color. Strengthens special armaments to plus one. Special armaments with unique characteristics cannot be strengthened with colored smithing stones. Number of steps and amount strengthened differ from standard equipment. Interesting. Okay, so... I mean, this dude over here riding on this horse, I mean, do I really want to... You know, poke that bear? Is there really any reason for me to fight him? Oh, look at this. A lot of these birds here. Huh. Well. I don't know, man. Um. Let's do this. I regret this.
Oh, 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 oh. He's got his uh, shield up. Took his horse down pretty easily. Yes, nice job. Cool. Ash of War, Golden Vow. Ah, so I got an Ash of War from this guy. Let's check it out. This one's colored. It's pretty. Uh, Golden Val and Sacred. This Ash of War grants an armament. <laughs> Speak, dude. This Ash of War grants an armament the sacred affinity in the following skill. Golden Val. Skill passed down from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge to honor the Erd Tree in battle, granting self and nearby allies increased attack power and defense. Okay. Well, we get Ashes of War from those dudes, huh? Alright. You know, that wasn't too bad, if I may say so myself. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we really didn't have too much trouble with him. Feel bad about the horse. Sorry, horsey. So, what do you say... We go ahead and craft some fire pots. Well, actually, I can only craft one because I've only got one container. But let's go ahead and craft it. There. Okay. Now I have one fire pot. That's exciting. What is that down there? Is that like a statue? Or you see what I'm saying here? See what I'm saying? This guy here. There's, le there's his foot, his legs, his torso. Huh. Guess it was a big statue or something. Or I'll go down there and it'll come up out of the ground and fight me. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, how do I put this thing away? Um... Oh, okay. Yep, I didn't really want to do that, but oh well. There's another one here, I think. Yeah, this is another one right here. I can't wait, I wait until I run into one of those that's still alive. Item ahead, but be wary of corpse. Item ahead. Well, let's go see it. Item ahead. Weak foe ahead? Is that guy alive? Oh, there's a dude sitting right next to it. Weak foe ahead. Yeah, let's uh, take this guy out. That ought to do it. Ah, uh, something. Saporific Grease? Got three of it. Uh, Coats Armament inflict Inflicting Sleep. Oh, this is stuff we put on our weapon. Oh, okay. Fire damage. Magic damage. Solidified Grease made from a mixture of light purple materials. Craftable item. Coats Armament Inflicting Sleep. The effect lasts only for a short time. Okay, cool. It's a long way down. I don't know how far I could fall, but uh, I'm going to guess that that's probably going to be too far. Oh. Oh, we got us a dead end here. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fall off of this. I really don't. Oh, there's another one of those. Look at that another body there on top of my head. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, let's just, uh... How did this guy die? Still haven't fixed bloodstains yet. At least not in my... On my system. Item ahead. 
Oh yeah, if we drop down from there, there'd be an item. What we just picked up. The hand there. Face. Pretty neat. Let's hop on our horsey here. It's this big building. What's this over here? What's this red? Oh. Oh my gosh, why did so many people die here? Were people trying to walk around the edge of the building, maybe? I guess. Boy, I really wish these worked. No secret ahead, be wary of a liar. Don't give up. What's going to happen at this place, man? Nothing good. Where are we on the map? We are way up here. Okay. I have a feeling nothing good is going to happen at this place. And I haven't seen a uh, side of grace in a while. Always makes me nervous when I explore for a long period of time without finding a safe spot. I always like to have a kind of a base of operations, don't you know? Oh, nice job. Oh, look at me. Look at, look at me. Golden rune. Golden rune. Oh, there's a message in here. Bunch of messages. Uh-oh. What do these people have to say? Liar ahead. What? Really? Oh my gosh, you got me. Good one, dude. That was really funny. Well, is there anything to this place? Liar ahead. Hidden path ahead. I haven't found a hidden path yet in this game. Here's an item. What are these doors? Look at this guy. Small red effigy. Oh, invaded by somebody. Oh man, we are so far away. Get off the screen. Oh, 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 this guy. I haven't even hit him once. Right, what's this? He's all splody. Why, I, why am I not hitting him? Oh, a little bit of a hitch there. Recusant Henricus. <laughs> His jump was a little better than mine. Recusant Henricus. Huh. I could have probably could have gotten him there. Oh, damn it. A little too close. Chess match. Ah, damn it. I don't want to die to this guy. You just gotta be a little patient. Almost got him. I don't know why he's not healing up. Ah, shit. I got him. <laughs> I freaking got him. I got him. Ooh, what? Competitive multiplayer. Use duelist's furled finger to write a red summon sign. Competitive multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an, 
of an adversary duelist, and your objective is to defeat the host of fingers who summoned you. Okay. All right. Hammer talisman. Um, and then we did we picked up another item over here, and I didn't see it because it's too busy focusing on this guy. What's, what's this? Who are these ghost dudes? All I wanted was to fight. To fight as a warrior to the last. So why, why, oh guidance of grace, will this door not open? Huh. Okay, so the other item that we got is probably in multiplayer. And it's this one here, the Duelist's Furled Finger. So I have zero interest in doing that, but eh, at some point we will try it out. But uh, not quite yet. Look at those spindly trees over there. I can't believe I beat that guy. Is this another one of these things? Okay, get that. So these doors won't open. Looks like it's just the same thing over and over again here. Might as well acquire those materials since we're walking past them. little section here maybe sign still no precious items oh here we go oh, another section could this be a liar therefore I don't believe it liar And that, my friends, is the end of the world. Well, now what? We are way up here. Guess maybe I'm a little bit curious about going over here. So let's go. Let's go for a little ride on our horsey. Pick up the speed a little bit. This horse has no stamina. No worries about stamina. Looks like I don't even need to hold down the um, oh. stamina or the run button. I already came here, didn't I? There's more down there. I don't think my horse will survive if I jump off of here. This is uh, where we get the item from. I mean, I might be able, I might survive that fall, or I might not need to. There's a, does my horse have a headlight? Why, what's, what's glowing? Look, there's something glowing under my horse. Huh, let's just see what's down here. Whee! Even another level down there. Huh, my horse crushes it. That's kind of scary looking over there. 
a lot of uh, wide open spaces. And this one's making me nervous with all these fallen statues here. Like I said, I'm worried that we're going to find one that's not fallen or one's going to come up out of the ground. Right? That's what I'm worried about. This is pretty disturbing. Oh, the, oh, there's one dude sitting there that's looking pretty scary. You know? I'm afraid to ride my horse over there because I'm afraid I'm going to ride off the edge here. And I don't definitely don't want to do that. There's a bridge down there that actually looks like you could cross it. Oh, don't shoot at me. I'm afraid of this guy. A little bit afraid of him. Get this jerk over here who's, well... Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, got rid of him. Kinda like to go get this guy. Well done, but it worked. Golden rune. Gauntlets. Oh man, that's quite a pokey thing you got there, dude. Oh, bows. Oh, we finally got a bow. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up to two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold left bumper for precision aiming, and then use R to adjust your aim. Right bumper fire arrow type one, right trigger fire arrow type two, and left bumper precision aiming. Okay, I got it. Did I pick it up? Okay, I did. Alright, so, um... <laughs> Look at this guy coming at me. Cool. Okay, so he had some interesting gauntlets. So, uh, speak... Oh my god. Speaking of, um... Equipment. Uh, I don't really need to be carrying this right now. Right? I just picked up this crossbow. A crossbow of simple make, usable by anyone, but lacking in both power and accuracy. Bolts must be equipped to use a crossbow. Skill kick. Push an enemy, enemy back with a, a high kick. Effective against enemies who are guarding and can break a foe's stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. And then we just picked up some gauntlets here. Godric Soldier Gauntlets. Well, let's see. What was, oh, I was wearing the Vagabond ones. They're, I'd say they're comparable. Better in some ways. Worse in others. Gauntlets worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. Ooh, Grafted. Remember when we heard about that a while back? Rust worn and stained through unending conflict. Uh, and then we, I think we just picked up these foot soldier gauntlets as well. Metal gauntlets covered in nicks and dents, widely issued to foot soldiers in a lord's army. We are currently not wearing um, gauntlets because if we did, we would be in heavy load. So I had to make a choice, and I chose not to wear gauntlets. Behold item. Okay, well, um, so that's what's here. In this part of the world. And then, um, down below... Oh man, what's down there? Oh gosh, if I went down there... Oh! Okay. Gosh, it's, it's hard to gauge how far things are. Man, not even a scratch. Right? Arteria leaf, that's a new one. That's not the right button to press, dude. Arteria leaf. Dark red leaves with thick swollen veins. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins. Stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Oh, it doesn't really tell what it does, though. There's a bridge down there. And I hear... Oh, that guy. What's he doing? 
What is this guy doing down there? Look at him. He's being weird. Oh, there's something. What's that right over top of my head? What is? Oh, that's one of those um, little dung beetles that give you flasks. I say dung beetle. Just a beetle. I don't know if it's a dung beetle or not. He seems pretty dungy, though, the way he rolls, rolls those balls around. This guy is freaking out. He is having a bad day. Look at this guy. Look. Banging his head against his weapon. What's he doing? Maybe he's trying to take that thing off of his head. Maybe that's what he's doing. This is interesting. We've got a bridge here. This. Take us over to this part of the world. Huh. Oh, okay. We have a safe place down there. Can I get to it from up here? Let's see. Boy, that sure seems far. <laughs> Look at this. I'll just take these stairs. Oh, that's awesome. What does this say? Offer attacking? Oh, this is awesome. We made it. This is great. I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> I just am having so much fun. I want to play this game all the time. It's so much fun exploring. So there's a path here. Sure enough, it's this path right here. So we went up here, around this way, came back, went up here, walked along this way, and now we're down here. Well, um, should we fight this guy? What do you think? I mean, if I die... Actually, how many... Oh, man, I have enough souls to level up. Let's level up. Let's do that. I don't have enough souls to level up. Uh, but I only need 200 more, and we know we could get more of those. Now, one thing I do wish is that... I wish I could use items from here. Can I? I can't. No, that's storing. I can't. Yeah, I wish I could use items from here, because... You know, now I have to stand up... And then use the item, and then sit back down. Which I guess is really no different than... Previously, although previously you didn't rest at a bonfire to level up. Right? Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more strength here. I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot. But we're gonna do it. Alright, let's see if we can take this guy on. He's going to turn around this way now, isn't he? Oh, my. Okay, well, we did a fair amount of damage to him, which is nice. Let's see if this works. Oh, jeez. It didn't hurt me at all, though, strangely enough. Sanctuary stone. Do I know what a sanctuary stone is? Sanctuary stone. Hmm. Uh, is it just, uh... Okay, yep. We read about that. Oh, there's a body here. Still no hole. Time for sleep, aristocrat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Some guy jumped up there. I'm not about to try that. I'll fall off. Oh, there's one of those spirit things over there. I forget what they're called. Spirit Spring. You could jump in your horse. Is that the one that we saw earlier? I don't know if we came this far north. Smithing stone. That's good to have. Rump? Rump? 
Lim we're back in Limgrave. What was what was the place we were in called? Storm something? Some music coming from over here. Hey man. Hey dude. Oh dear. You might I terribly sorry. Uh are you here as a customer? Um I well, well you have nothing else to say to this guy. What's he selling? Pickled turtleneck. Temporarily boosts stamina recovery. A cracked pot. Oh man, I don't have enough to buy a cracked pot. Uh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook expands crafting repertoire. And then we got a short sword, a halberd, some arrows, a bandit mask, and a note. Flame chariots. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Hey, I can afford it. Let's buy it. Sure, why not? I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. No, oh, dude, you, you're, you're cool. You're cool. Oh, is there anything wrong? No, 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 no. Huh. Nothing that suits your taste, then. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what was that thing that we just bought? Where do I find it? Down here? These are just maps. What was that? These are weapons I'm in now, right now. Flame chariots is a note. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Note sold, sold by a nomadic merchant imparting knowledge in brief. Beware the fire monks chariots bearing the faces of giants. A well-aimed blow to the chimney on top may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare indeed. Interesting. And then I have something about waypoint ruins. Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. Waypoint ruins. Huh, okay. Well. I wonder what killed this guy. We'll never know. We will never, ever know. Alright, well. Let's have a seat over here by the fire with this guy. I'm sure he won't mind. Um. Here, we'll do a side sit. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, this is just a test. Okay. There, I stayed there. Okay, we'll just sit here by the fire. Alright, gonna end this episode here. We'll come back next time. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't keep on following this uh, trail, this path here. Whoops, wrong button. We'll keep going this way. We'll see what this is, maybe. This looks pretty interesting, right? And then I'm curious about this. Is this something? I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep on exploring. This place is huge. Uh, remember, when I first started exploring this, it was because I didn't have enough, you know, strength to get past this... Uh, Margit guy, and I wanted to improve myself. Well, I think I think we're getting there. I've got a weapon that does more damage, and my health bar is a little bit bigger, so that certainly helps. Man, I wonder how big this map gets. We'll find out. Probably not in the next episode, though, but lots of cool stuff left to see. Well, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, um, and I, like I said, I want to play it all the time, um, but, you know, have have a life to live and i'm playing this it's late sunday night right now tomorrow morning i get up and i go back to work for another week of work and um you know we'll see if i have time to play it again tomorrow night i don't know man i don't know i'm having fun i hope you're having fun if you are why don't you let me know leave me a like or a comment thanks for watching see you next time